Just look at the mess I've got here. There's a couple of scooters that I'm in the middle of trying to fix. Blake gave me this uh, scooter here to try to repair for him. It's a Ryon electric scooter, one of those uh, fairly powerful scooters that uh, have got motors in both wheels, hub motors. And the uh, problem with this one was that the chap ran it to the ground. It had a couple of uh, uh, geared, small geared hub motors. And uh, these motors have got, uh, they got holes in the, oh no, that's not, that's not the, that's the front wheel. That's the one I'm going to put in. These motors have got holes in them for cooling. And... Uh, Unfortunately, dirt gets in there and destroys them. Now, these, this is one of the new motors that I'm going to put on. He was given these uh, direct drive motors, not the uh, not the geared one, but this is fairly powerful. It's a few thousand kilowatts. It's quite a big, heavy beast. And uh, I'm in the middle of converting it to this. <sighs> the motors that he had have, have been wrecked. This is one of the old motors that he was running. It's been pulled apart. There are the gears on it. But uh, gears have been wrecked, especially on the planetary system. See, see here. That gear, so all been chewed. And these are steel, steel gears. They're not even the nylon ones. And because of the cooling holes, as you run it, especially you go over dirt and stuff gets in there and it chews the thing chews them up and the other thing that uh, were, there was a problem with with this was this uh, controller this is a, a kelly controller that came with the ryan scooter and i've just sussed out all the wires here and put connectors on it but this had a million million wires on it that you had to try to figure out and I've done that, so I can't show you what I did, but uh, you got the hall wires, um, there's the, uh, the hall sensors, uh, put connectors on there, there's a connector there for the switch, another one for the power, I've had to use the XT90 connectors on this because the scooter runs on a 80 volt system, you get quite uh, substantial sparking when you put the thing together, so anyway, I've done this. And this sort of uh, attaches to this great big battery here. It's a 68.4 that charges up to about 80 volts. So she's a big fella. There's a, quite a large BMS down in there. So this is the job. I've got to try to get the whole thing going. Now, uh, the new motors that I'm putting on Here's one of them here. I'm only putting one on. He's got two of them, but they're very powerful. It's a sort of a bit of overkill. Beautiful motors. The problem with those motors is trying to get the tyre out of them. These tyres are solid. And uh, the only way you can do it is to heat the tyres up. You can either stick them in the oven and warm them up, or, as I've done, I've used a, a hairdryer. Spent uh, you know, half an hour running the hairdryer over it, over the tire to soften it up, and you can sort of push it on as long as you lubricate the uh, the edges, a bit of soap on the uh, on the rim here and on the inside of the tire. And uh, yeah, quite a job. I didn't film that, but uh, I struggled to get it on. Here's the end result. Got the tire on there, so and I managed to pump it up. I couldn't pump it up at home because uh, the tires are tubeless, and there to get them seated, you have to put in a lot of air very quickly. And I had to take it to a uh, tire place to use a compressor to get the, the air in quickly. Anyway, I've got it done.
Next job is to uh, start assembling this wheel here. Got to put the, uh, the brake rotor on. Fits in there. Got to get the direction of movement. Forward direction, there's an arrow. You can see the arrow there. Get it there. You can't have it backwards, I don't know why. Anyway, it seems to make a difference. Get the correct driver for it. One of these star shaped things, star driver. Get that in. I can assemble it. Put the arm on. An interesting locking mechanism here. See that? Fits in. This is this is aluminium, but this mode is so powerful that it would chew up the aluminium and it's a torque. So they've got this hardened metal insert. Quite quite clever. There's a there, washer, and the nut, and the big nut that fits onto the suspension. All right, not tighten it all up in a while. Now make sure these are tight, the brake mounts, that one, they're quite tight, I did them before, the brake can fit on, and mounting screws. Ah, beautiful. Really. I better tighten these suspension bolts. I've got a uh, an elastomer, one of those rubber suspensions. So it's having springs, shock absorbers, etc. rubbing a bit I'll have to just adjust that again hold down the brake center it and you can get that just another adjustment to the uh, brakes and it's running beautifully not a scrape okay See how she goes. Yeah, she uh, scrapes a bit, but doesn't scrape on the wheel. There's only about a millimetre clearance between the actual brake and the tyre, the brake housing and the tyre. But uh, that's not scraping, that's scraping against the disc. I'll do a minor adjustment later on. Okay. Yeah. 
now starting to look like a scooter now okay next come the electronics there's the controller what do we need now okay okay now that that's a connector that i put on that uh, is the switch to turn the the scooter on and off the switch is actually back here somewhere okay so now i've labeled everything i've put all these these uh, connectors on and labeled them to make it easy for anyone because i've got to give this back to someone and uh, so that they know what's going on i stuck a fuse in line with the a three amp fuse in line with the switch just in case something goes wrong now uh oh one thing the uh that i found on this controller this has got a, a brake cut off a couple of wires for the brake cutoffs that uh, deactivates the motor when you put the brakes on but this isn't connected to the scooter there's no uh, sensors going to the brakes so uh, obviously they don't bother with it okay anyway yeah let's let's do the phase wires there's the motor These are the three phase wires. Now, <laughs> the other thing I found was that the colours don't correspond. No way. So, I, tr I tried all sorts of combinations, so I've got a mark. Now, this is B goes with B, and they're bullet connectors. There we go, all sensors are connected. What else have we got? Uh, that's the throttle, yes. This previously had one huge connector that connected everything up, but of course someone had fiddled with this and there was nothing that sort of matched the connectors were, were not matching. Oh, it was a weird setup. I don't know what, the, what they did with this, but uh, it didn't work very well. And, okay, now I think we can find a spot in there for the controller. Bottom there, all of these. Now the only other thing we got to connect up is the power. The power of the controller goes to the power of the motor of the battery. I mean, it's got an XT90, but she still sparks. Okay, let's try it out. Now, if I turn the switch on the controller has a green light that tells you that everything's functional terrific uh, let's see does it work Ooh. wow wow <laughs> that is one hell of a motor this is a very very powerful scooter and this has got one motor some of them come with a motor in the front wheel as well i can't imagine why you'd need that but uh, everything works okay last thing to put it all together and go try it out Well, there it is. All assembled. Looks all okay. Right up to the handlebars. There's no control panel on this, no display, so you don't really know what's what. It's just uh, very basic. Just uh, start her up and go. Well, there it is. Okay. That's the end of the repair on the Rion.